So we are down here at Frankie's Free Range Meat and it's been an unusual week. You know, first, the guy that was supposed to install our freezer panels had a heart attack literally the weekend before he was supposed to do the job. You know, we paid this guy 20 grand back in February and now he suddenly can't install it. Uh, the other day, someone just walked into our facility and stole my business partner's cell phone. And yesterday, someone came over and smashed the windows on his car open. So this is his car. Um, they smashed this window and all they really stole was some, uh, all they really stole was some water out of the back. So, you know, it's not like they smashed up the whole car. They just Adam, smashed the back took the stuff out and that was it you know they weren't exactly trying to vandalize or damage the property they were just trying to uh just to steal some stuff yeah i have a youtube channel it's frank uh tufano t-u-f-a-n-o yeah what you report no i have a business down here and and they, they they someone walked into the facility the other day and took a cell phone and then before, uh, yesterday, they smashed my business partner's car and just took some water out of the back. All right, man, I, I gotta go inside and do some work, but maybe I'll see you around. Have what? Ask. I'm gonna take no from nobody. I'm asking. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you, Frank. And we didn't have free kids with that. Right, exactly. I remember when I was a little This guy just hustled me for $6. Stay away from my car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he had the strength to, to break your window. I don't think it was him. I was like, he said all your windows were broke. I, not, not to dismiss it, but thank God it's only one. I thought all the windows were broken when you. I, I, I didn't look right at the. I didn't look at the pictures properly. No, they, 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 they smashed like, the uh, one. Do you have any idea estimate? No, I got. I got the insurance company. Didn't Thousand. It back. I don't know. Who knows? It's crazy. You know how they bulk it up. They stole a case of Saratoga, <laughs> one bottle at a time, because you can't get the whole case out. <laughs> That's the funny part. So they. I was like, they was, stole is it. The box empty. <laughs> <laughs> they stole it one bottle at a time. They looked at it. It says water on it. They're fucking stealing water out of the back. I'm telling and you. No, what are they going to steal? I'm like, look. They'll steal water. fresh. It's part of my French. Fresh shit. Yeah. If they can. If I had I, some back here. I worked here for 20-something years in the courthouse. Forget about it. And then a pack of our labels for, print, for printing orders. You, you need more labels? I, I have some in my house. I, can I, make I have them, but they haven't stolen a little case. Are they going to do some orders for you, maybe? Stay hydrated. They'll take, they'll take anything. They'll take anything. They don't know what it is, and it's prob probably young kids too. You said you had the footage of the of the guy taking the phone, right? Yeah. We'll play that next. Oh, this is the new bars we're going to sell it's for you guys. Uh, these bars, I thought it was going to be part of my fresh, as you said, a bunch of dog shit, but pretty good. They're good? Um, That's what you made? I bought a bunch of keto bricks as a comparison, which is a vegan, essentially, version of this bar. I ate one of them last night. I ate half of one. That made me sick. Disgusting. And what'd you put in here? This is five ingredients. The other one had 36 ingredients. And look. Third, the one you I ate had 36 ingredients? No, this has five ingredients. And I know it, it's, you know. No, but the one you ate, you said. Exactly. 36 ingredients. They all do, all these powders. But look how this is not greasy at all. It's nice. So we, we've been trying to find a non-perishable food to give you guys for the lockdown and stuff and just something for survival. We could really ramp up this production. The salt you use as two full thing, paste and also preservative. Try, nope. try, try, try a piece of the bar. Mostly for, for flavor. No, I can't. Why? It's still sick from me driving in the car. I get motion sick. You pick it up like this, you just take a bite oh, is, it, is it good? Okay. Is it better than the pemmican? Uh, it's more approachable. I prefer the pemmican. It doesn't, because it doesn't taste like beef. It's like- But this doesn't taste like beef. It almost tastes like ice cream, right? You pick it up. But there's no meat in this at all. You no meat at all. There was, okay. 
this is this is uh, I mean there's there's tallow, so it's not vegetarian. Okay. As we've been talking about the past few months, you know, we're really trying to get out of here and into this new facility. You know, hopefully the, the people you know coming into our spot was like a one-off thing. The guy swiping the phone was a one-off thing. And uh, especially, you know, cracking open his windshield to steal whatever's in and out of it. Uh, you know, but, you know, I mean, people are desperate right now. You know, as we said, you know, yesterday, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, so, you know, if you guys want to support us, you know, just go on the website, um, you know, just order some stuff from us. I know we have a little bit of a limited inventory at the moment, but, you know, if you guys order what we have in stock, it'll make it easier for us to move into this new facility we'll have less product just to, to move over. You know, I made a post on the community page yesterday and I already got some, you know, fairly generous donations from you guys. Uh, and I promise you all of that money is gonna go towards uh, the farm and, and basically overall, you know, making people happier through providing you guys with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods. You know, hopefully it doesn't get too much crazier than this. I was actually thinking about, you know, going down to the city one day this weekend, see what's going on down there, film some stuff, hand out some flyers. But overall, it's probably a pretty bad idea. And honestly, if Frankie Boy is going to go down to the city, he, he would rather play with some dirty New York City girls than go risk his life at a protest at this point in time. How many do we have now? Are we going to list it? How many did I make? How many do we have now? Did we make it yet? Four. You made four bars. All right. All right, boys, we got four bars on the website. So what, we'll have this next week? What will it take you to make this? And the next week. And the next week. Yeah, and the next week. It's weird because this isn't really that bad of a part of the Bronx you know it doesn't seem like it's that uncomfortable I mean yeah the area is completely bad from a location standpoint but you know we're like right by the train station we're right by a public school we're across from a hospital you know the police precinct is literally down the street you know, it doesn't feel like an unsafe area so to speak you know especially with what's going on but uh, you know when you're looking outside there aren't too many people on the on the street and uh, I guess everyone turns a blind eye to what's going on with the, the pemmican we leave it out on the kitchen table they can have a snack anytime they want. It's the one snack that I don't care how, they can have as much, as, if they just eat pemmican for the whole day, that's great. My wife feeds it to my nine month old, my three year old asks for pemmican. It's the perfect snack, you just leave it out, it doesn't go bad. And he's like twice as big as all the other kids in his class. He's right? not three yet, he's 40 inches tall, 40 pounds. What are the other kids in his class, like 20 pounds? Half the size? <laughs> I don't send him a class. Well, not anymore, right? But weren't you saying like he was like he's, a giant he's a big, compared to them? He's a big boy, yeah. yeah. Sarah had the best nutrition for Lily, and she's been the easiest. She's like been really quiet. She slept really well. She's the most personable. Yeah. She seems to be, I mean, she's also a lady and the other two are boys, which is a difference, but yeah. she seems to be the smartest. It's, like, it's, still, it's still pretty early. He's installing the freezer right now, this week, right? Right now? Or is he installing the freezer? Did you go and see him? No, I didn't. Okay, I didn't see him. Why? Um, should, yeah, should be next week. He's because he had those panels that it sets in that storage facility. That's that's by our new facility, right? Mm -hmm. It's that that storage facility he has is pretty close to where we're going to move. So next week, uh, I don't know if we'll be able to ship out of there next week. But when's he installing the panels, though? Um, Wednesday. So today is Friday. He's going to be in there installing the panels Wednesday. He says it's going to take him two, three days. Well, I mean, so maybe two weeks we'll be in there. Okay. You guys have so that's going to be it, guys. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, nothing too crazy is happening down here. We're going to try to get out of here as soon as possible. We'll get into the new facility. We'll continue to provide you guys with high-quality animal products. And hopefully, you know, before fall, before they start, you know, frying kids in these schools, uh, we can get into some farm somewhere uh, just to get off out of the city onto a property where we have things in our control. Um, and then we'll start doing eggs. We'll start doing dairy. You know, I made a pretty big decision, you know, in 2016, four, almost five years ago now. You know, I, I decided instead of, you know, moving out to LA, doing the acting thing, having some fun, uh, I said I wanted to help people and provide people with uh, quality nutrition. So uh, that's what I'm set out to do. And, uh, you know, it's not about profit for me. It's not about any of that stuff. So, um, you know, I definitely want to make money for my business partner and make sure that everyone that's working for me is doing well. But, um, you guys will never see me driving a Mercedes or uh, partying in a mansion. Uh, but that's going to be it. Check out frankiesyringemeat.com, organsupplements.com, frankiesnaturals.com, frank-defano.com for my book, video course, one-on-one -on -one fitness and nutrition consulting. Uh, those are how you guys can support me. And, uh, you know, again, I, I post it on the community page. 
paypal.me slash frank tofano paypal.me slash ffrm if you guys want to support us the money's going to help we'll see if we can get some security for the next week or two before we're out of here we're going to file some police reports hopefully i'll have a unrestricted carry so i don't have to risk getting arrested down here